Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 26 September 2016. Just going to make a short update video for you guys. Uh, it's been, goodness gracious, well over a week since I've posted a video. As some of you may remember, I spent the weekend, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday a week ago, in Escanaba, Michigan for the fall grind in at Bark River Knives. So that took some time away and then when I was there about half their factory was sick with this rather savage virus. Um, so about half of us who came for the grind in left with the virus. I did and uh, I spent most of the last week at about half speed. So not a lot of communication happened and I don't know, I was probably at 50% production at the sharpening bench, so by the time I was done in the shop, I was ready to crash just about every day last week, so this is the first day that I felt kind of among the living again, so uh, going to do a short update for you. You're going to see over the next few days a barrage of video from the Bark River Grind In. What a blast it was. Uh, just a bunch of super cool people. The whole Bark River staff pitched in. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a, a grind in is when Bark River customers, collectors, dealers show up, have the run of the place for two and a half days basically. Uh, all Bark River's equipment and materials are at our disposal. And you know, depending on how big a check we want to write, we can make anything we want. And their staff is there to help assist, uh, execute our designs to whatever degree we want them to. Um, just an amazing time. Uh, there's a dinner in the shop at the factory on Friday night before the main grinding day on Saturday. And then Saturday night, uh, Mike takes everybody out for a big banquet. Uh, prizes are awarded. It's just a super time. Um, the whole Stewart family is just awesome to be around. The whole, well, the, when I say the whole Stewart family, yes, I mean Mike Stewart, his wife Leslie, his son Jim, and his daughter Jackie, but I also mean all 50 or so people that work at Bark River Knives. Um, they are a big, happy family, and it's just a super time to be around them for a few days. So, um, stay close to your computers or your devices. There's going to be a lot of Bark River video coming, and there's going to be some pretty good video of the knife I made, or the knife I designed and supervised the making of. It got pretty expensive. So I kind of let the experts finish it, so you'll, and you'll see how that goes. Um, also, I've got a 20,000 subscriber giveaway I need to wrap up. Um, I just, September just got away from me, guys, and I was sort of waiting for some prizes to filter into. I'm still reviewing uh, your nominees for the three channels that I'm going to promote and award prize packages to, but I hope by this weekend so October 1st-ish, um, you'll see a video on the results of the 20,000 subscriber giveaway, and I've got some really cool prize packages. Some of the stuff in the packages is mine. Uh, some of it was donated mostly by viewers. No real retailer participation, with maybe one or two exceptions this time. Um, got a custom knife in the giveaway, which will be pretty cool. Um, so expect that over the weekend, October 1st, October 2nd, somewhere in that range. Also, the, uh, we didn't have a knife sale last week. I was too pooped to pop. So this week we will have a sale on Thursday night. Um, big news at uh, Hope Community Church also. Um, as you guys know, and you can go back and watch the uh, sort of a week in the life video of Hope Community Church if you want to know what's up. Uh, in the first, gosh, eight months or so that we've been rolling at Hope Community Church. Um, but a new development that's sort of an ongoing next step in an old project. Um, I met, had lunch with our head pastor from Wallen Baptist Church, our parent church, last Wednesday. And uh, we were talking about the 2017 budget, and he told me, go find a house. Uh, for our transitional living home or halfway house uh, for alcoholics and addicts. So it, it, that we should see come to fruition sometime next year. Uh, we'll actually be open, uh, have guys living there, 
uh, helping them find their way to the Lord and find their way to sobriety. And uh, that ought to be really neat. Not sure how that's going to affect the sharpening and YouTube business yet, but um, there will still be uh, of the Apostle P knife service even when that gets going. Not sure how much volume I'm going to be able to handle, but um, it'll be there. Uh, speaking of sharpening, let's talk about the Christmas season, shall we? It's the end of September now. If any of you are planning Christmas presents that include uh, an edge by the Apostle P knife service, plan on having your knives here ready to go by November 15th. That'll give me, you know, a month of turnaround time and then uh, the, uh, the Postal Service uh, usually lags down a little bit uh, around the holiday season. So if you're going to do knives that get sharpened for Christmas for anyone on your list, just plan on having those knives in my possession by the 15th of November. Um, I might have a little promotion going for the holiday season this year. Um, kicking that around. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but I'll keep you posted. So stay tuned, guys, uh, for the Bark River series of videos. Uh, after I finish this one, I'm going to go upload it, and then I'll do sort of intros and segues and outros for those videos. So I'm going to cut those this evening, and you'll see them pop up in your feed over the rest of this week. Uh, thank you for all your support, and if your knives are dull, you know where to send them, boys. That's all for this one. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, the word is sharp.